I'm Alan Little, and I am from Huntsville, Alabama. I was born and raised here. I'm 44 years old, and I'm a singer-songwriter. I was a drummer for about 18 years. Um, then I fell in love with the guitar when I was uh, 18, and so I've been playing the guitar ever since then. I'd say uh, mainly James Taylor. James Taylor's music was always playing in the house um, growing up. That was basically the soundtrack to my growing up, uh, as well as, as others, uh, the Doobie Brothers, uh, the Minute by Minute album to be uh, specific, and uh, Paul Simon, uh, Simon and Garfunkel. I think that it has shaped my sound um, by just, just being around it. There's so many, there's so many great musicians, and and they're all. It's a very friendly community, but it's it's a very it's very challenging too, um, as your contemporaries are writing better and better songs and getting better at their craft. It kind of makes you want to do the same. You know, you want to be able to. You know, I've always wanted to swim in that school of fish. Uh, the network of talented musicians that they have, as well as uh, um, not only their talent, but they're just very good, sweet, generous, kind people. Um, and it's all about the music, you know. Um, uh, and that has been that has been very uh, impactful to me, uh, making this album and and the different people that are on it and taking part on it. It's just. It's, I couldn't imagine another place where I'd have this type of experience. So uh, the title of the album is called While They Were Sleeping because I was literally coming into the studio while my family was home sleeping. I've got, you know, I've got a day job as a mortgage loan officer and I've got a family uh, to look after and entertain and then I've got an album that I want to cut. So late at night while they were sleeping was the best time to do it. I'd have to say it's Welcome Home. Um, that is about moving to this town. Um, I've, I was born and raised here, and I've watched it grow, and uh, especially here in the last, you know, 10 years, even more specifically the last five, the, the, the growth of it, and the music scene is just going right along with it and getting bigger and bigger. It's a nice thing to see. But moving here is a big thing for a lot of people, and uh, we wrote a song about it. It's a very, very friendly community, I'd have to say. And I think the album is very friendly. The album is very passionate. It's a little bit, some of it is a little bit dark. Um, some of it is spiritual. Um, some of it is about how to make moonshine. <laughs> I think it might be either the very first Listen Local show where um, I had some very special people Folks that are dear to me, be part of the first, of the first one. That was uh, that was Jim Cavender and Charlie Howell and uh, uh, Dave Gallagher, also known as Microwave Dave. Listen, local um, has started out as a as basically a showcase for um, supporting uh, local singer songwriters and doing songs in the rounds. You know, so basically Huntsville and North Alabama, really. And uh, it was a listening room environment where people would show up, and it's a quiet night um, of just listening to music. And we wanted to create that for Huntsville. It's like going, uh, for our Huntsville musicians, it's like going to a museum and getting up close with a painting. You know, so close you can check out the brush strokes and almost have a conversation with the artist. I spend a lot of time thinking about music, mainly when I'm, when I'm driving. A lot of times I won't be listening to any music at all. Um, and I'll just basically kind of play, play music in my head, come up with melodies in my head, try to remember them, maybe hum them into my cell phone, get home and record it, play it on the guitar, and then I sit and think about, well, what is this emotion telling me? What is the emotion of this music, and what are some lyrics that will mimic that and go along those same waves, you know. 
to where it agrees with one another. And sometimes I will have a concept, um, a concept that, that happens really quickly and the song writes itself. A song I wrote uh, a long time ago, Wedding Day Blues, I wrote it in 45 minutes. Um, uh, another song called Sweet Fermentation, I wrote it in about the same amount of time. It just, you, I had the concept, it made sense. I, I try to archive as much as my ideas as I can, um, where I can go back and scroll through them, uh, as well as like the lyrics. Um, when I'm doing co-writing, if I'm not doing it by myself, and I'm co-writing with uh, John Schmidt, he's got a lot of lyrics and ideas and concepts and things like that. So I'll go through and look at these concepts and listen to this music. Does this kind of fit where this is going? Is this that type of mood? You know, and trying to make puzzle pieces fit. So we've got a big stack of stuff that we've worked on that's maybe incomplete that we're not really 100% sure about, you know, putting putting down on on a record, but we have stuff that is completed, and that's just one of those things that we have to get used to. Our stack of, we'll have to come back to this and work on it as to, you know, what's completed itself. For certain, we'll have um, copies in some different stores around town, anybody that will be willing uh, to carry it. And I hope everybody buys it so I can pay off everybody that helped put it together. Yes, uh, Alan Little Music on Facebook and Instagram. They're one and the same.